Welcome back to What's Matter. Today we're going to continue our attic series and be looking at duct sealing and the, thing, and the spots you need to be paying attention to to make sure that you're not losing a bunch of that uh, air that you're paying to heat and cool into your attic instead of it making it into your house. And what you really want to be checking, one of the key things you want to be checking for is on whether or not your system, your, your HVAC system, has mastic paste on it. Is it, is it. Has it been sealed with mastic? That doesn't have to be paste. There is a tape that's made and you'll, you'll see a rating on it. It's, uh, it's called mastic tape. But this is more common right here. This, this white paste or kind of be a grayish paste. You can see it here as well. And that helps ensure that you got a long term seal. This stuff's not gonna fail on you over time. This tape, which is peeling up here, but it was just holding the thermostat wire. But it's peeling up because that tape is going to fail over time. If it's the only thing that's sealing your system, it may be sealed well now, but just give it a few more years and it's not going to be. So you want to look for mastic paste right here for the first, for your duct systems first connecting to your AC coil. And then where these ducts connect to your, what's called your plenum. These are collar connections here. You want mastic paste on those spots because you don't want that to be pulling out and the air that's supposed to be going down this duct is all of a sudden just blowing right here in the attic. Or you don't have a good seal here and it breaks right there, then the air never even gets to this spot, even if this is sealed well. So you gotta make sure all these areas are sealed well and you wanna be doing it with mastic. So now we're looking at different duct sealing things that you need to do. Now this, and we want it, and here's a good reason why we want to do this before we fix the insulation. Because I got to climb out here over the top of my insulation to get to this spot to even check it. And if I'd already fixed my insulation, uh, I'd be messing it up and I'd be mad at myself. So I'm checking this spot right here. And I know to check it because there's some tape right in the middle of this long run. It comes way down here, it goes way off that way. There's some tape right here in the middle. Why is there tape here? There's tape here because that's where two pieces join together. So I'm feeling around on this spot. It's good and solid. There's not anything apart inside of there. Now you may not be aware, but you've got this outside insulation and inside of it is where the air is traveling. There's another duct liner in there. And that's what I'm checking. I'm squeezing on that. And it's, it's, it's together in there. I can tell that it's not a part. There's no part in there that totally collapses when I push it together. So it's all stuck together real good. But to really know what's going on, I would need to cut this tape back and dig into it. If I really, really, really was super worried about it, like if I knew that that room down there wasn't getting really good airflow, that room was uncomfortable, this would be a good spot to check. Here's another one of those spots I'm going to climb out to across insulation to get to to figure out whether my ducts are sealed up well. This is a junction box. You see this main trunk line that comes from the unit all the way from the unit out to here then we've got these little all these ducts that are running out to the rooms. Well we want to make sure that this junction box is sealed up well. All the tape seams have the mastic paste on them and this one's got it. This one's sealed up really good. So you're looking for mastic on these taped seams. I can still see the, the, the lettering on the tape, right? But it's it's coming it's covering that tape and it's coming off the edges of it. And then I've got it in here at this. I'm pulling back the ductwork a little bit and I'm looking to see if there's mastic in here on this collar. And they did it. They did a good job on this one. It's all sealed up but a lot of them will not have any mastic paste on it. The tape will be peeling off of it. The collars will be pulling out and you'll just be losing all types of air out here. So don't skimp on crawling out and checking these. This is a key duct sealing spot to check. All right, thanks for tuning back into What's Matter today where we talked about all the things you need to do to make sure your ducts are up, sealed up well. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you won't miss the next video in our attic series.